Bon joining my Sogmian and Punap friends, and of course, the Eusters. Today, this video is brought to you by PG Live. Have you done the C9 and the F4? Uh, no, we haven't, but we're doing it right now just for you, PG. PG is an OG in the Star Atlas community and uh, in, the, in the Oni faction, and from what I hear, has a very, very large Star Atlas asset collection. So, thanks PG! Let's get to it! Alright, this is the Pierce C9, and we saw it in the previous video where I showed you all of the largest ships in the showroom. <laughs> you can find that just up here! Yeah, just up there, see? Uh, well, let's take a closer look, because it was just a little flash in the pan the last time. So, what I'm looking at right now, and you can see my dot in the center of the screen, um, they, right there, uh, are the escape pod, or, sorry, a rescue pod and a limousine. Yeah, nice. For, uh, tendering shoreside. So maybe, maybe you would, uh, you'd park up your, uh, your C9 here, and then jump in your limousine, and off you go to the local, uh, the local bar. What have we got here? So this is very difficult to ignore. These are the huge commander-sized weapons. Let's keep running down, and uh, you can see just above them there, I think they would be classed as large. And then uh, further, further over, let's run over there. Come on, run faster, you! Run faster! And then these would be the capital size. Sorry. Yes, capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Capital size. Don't doubt yourself, Lloyd. Uh, weapons. Down there is a huge radar, I would presume. Uh, capital size. Now these. Can somebody tell me what this is? Because I don't know, and I don't think anyone actually knows. What we're looking at directly in front of us right here. These two, what look to be weapons. Um, but we're not sure actually if they are because let's get up the Explorer, explorer.staratlas.club, link down below. Uh, right, let's take a look at this Explorer here. Um, if I go straight down to the slots and the modules, uh, what do we have? We got four capital weapons, four large weapons, two commander sized weapons. And we go, uh, just go to the gallery very quickly on here. Um, actually, I think, yeah, here we go. Go onto this image here. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, what we've got here, we're looking at at the front. I'm going to, I'm going to class uh, the, you see that they're, they're, they come in pairs, these weapons right on the, uh, on the forward end here. So we've got one, two, and then three, four on the uh, capital size weapons. And then you can see on the deck here, these smaller weapons, we've got one, two, three, four, four of them. And then we've got the two large commander. So what's left over are these strange unidentified items here uh, that we were looking at. Right, right now we're looking at. So, what are they? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, let's get the camera now, just to uh, fly around a little bit faster. Go over to the forward end. So, we're looking at... Which side are we looking at? Starboard side. There you can see the uh, capital size weapons there, one on either side. Uh, one on the port, one on the starboard. So, shall we take a look at, or a bit a closer look at this ship and the details, the supply, and the description? Let's just see how high we can go up here. Okay, we can get a, we can get a little look on the flight deck here. This is good. I like this. Let's get a bit closer now. Okay, nice, nice. 
Yeah, so let's bring up the Explorer again. Alright, so what we have here on the supply side. Uh, first of all, this is the Pierce C9, and it's a capital fighter. Uh, 400 meters long, 86.2 meters high, 168.3 meters wide, and this is legendary. Legendary rarity. A total supply of only 190. Until we can make them in game, but that's going to take a while, isn't it? A long time before you can build something like this. Uh, supply. So, this was released back in November 2021. Uh, there was a limited supply at an entry price of 28,900 USDC. Uh, then we went to 32,385 USDC. Um, oh, you can't even see that, can you? Why can't you see that? Looks like I need to do some readjusting here. Uh, okay, and then we went to 34,400 USDC, uh, and that's that. So, if you look at the Star Atlas Marketplace now, uh, these ships hold seem to hold their value very well, because um, compared to, uh, considering the market conditions at the moment, uh, these are just a shade under the origination price. So, uh, considering the market conditions, they've done very well. But hey, nothing in this channel is financial advice, and you should do your own research. Okay, I'll just move that back over. I need to learn how to use OBS a bit better, don't I? I mean, we're getting by. We're getting by. It does the job. Shall we take a look at the description? The original crowning glory of Pierce manufactured battleships, the C9 Capital Carrier, comes stock fitted with commander sized weaponry and best in class hull plating. The Capital Drone Port houses a team of Pierce hull tank attack drones. A generous sized top deck and adjacent hangar bay allows an effective sized fleet of varying sized ships for tactical deployment, cargo, and vehicle transport and maintenance. An oversized command deck creates the best tactical viewpoint and strike team for any security-focused captain and crew. A ship or fleet out in deep space will measure twice and think again before engaging the C9, and the crew can rest or work safely knowing the power they wield at the helm of this highly equipped space platform. Great. So it mentions there the uh, capital drone port houses a team of Pierce hull tank drones. Very nice. If we go down to the gallery here, um, and yep, what I can do is switch over screens a little bit, just so we see the gallery a, a little larger. Hull tanks, come on, where are you? Ah, uh, you can see some flying around here. Yeah, that's the hull tank. Uh, up, 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 up. Ignore those images for now, but there we go. That's the hull tank there. Um, so. We've got a hangar for these, and I guess you can release those uh, to protect the ship uh, when needed. You see these little things on the top here? They are very similar. I've got the image right here. They're very similar to what's shown on the PS uh, X4. You see just here labeled grenades um, on the left there. Uh, yeah, labelled grenades. That's these here. And they look exactly the same as... Where is it? As the hull tank ones there. And I just showed you another image there. Now you can see here, that looks like uh, three hull tanks arranged, possibly how they're stored inside the uh, the drone hangar, I would I would imagine. But they're pretty cool. And they look, they look pretty powerful, actually. Um... I mean, let's let's take a look at this image. Zoom in. Here they are on the deck, so you can get a, a better idea of, of how large these things are. They're actually um, they're going to be quite impressive, just uh, by themselves. They look to be a, approximately the size of uh, a, a PSX5. Yeah, very nice. Let's uh, go through these images a little more. 
Now this one is interesting. Here you can so so you saw the uh, the commander size weapon here. Take a look at the barrel shape. It's kind of like a almost like a cross shape. Now we can go back to that image. Uh, here's a closer close up image. I'll open that in a new tab. This is a close-up of the image. You can see much better here, this kind of cross shape. Um, interesting. Interesting to me. Because we can then go to this image here. And, yes, you've guessed it. What this uh, uh, carrier seem, seems to be carrying um, are possibly ammo for, for that, for those... For those uh, guns there possibly that's purely speculation I don't have a clue but they're the same shape as the barrels if you were to turn them on their side turn them on their side where, where is it there we go turn them on their side and look they'll they'll fit they'll fit that shape won't they look again you see here um, so it's quite possible that these guns here are kind of like um, rail guns or gauss cannons just firing a massive lump of, of metal uh, through space to do ballistic type of uh, not ballistic sorry just just to do uh, damage uh, through the uh, the momentum of this heavy large lump of steel that's fired by electromagnetic power or something like like that that's what I imagine I mean obviously uh, I don't know it could be something else um, and also, this shows uh, it possibly these commander weapons can be swapped out. So, if that was a Gauss cannon type of thing, maybe you can swap these out and put on a ballistic or a, a laser type of weapon. Very interesting to think about. And let's continue on the, the gallery here. I mean, you can all see this gallery anyway, anyway uh, just by going onto the Star Atlas website or on the Explorer. Uh, but it's nice just to talk through it. Uh, so here you can see uh, the rescue rescue pod that we saw earlier, and then underneath it the limousine uh, rescue boat they're calling it. And here's the the deck, the bridge. Um, not sure what this is. I've asked over in the um, over in the uh, Star Atlas chat, waiting for an answer on this one. And what I'll do is I'll just post it uh, down in the comments and uh, down in the description once I have this answer. But not sure exactly. Although it looks it looks kind of like uh, power generation because um, we we see similar in the C11 uh, engine engine room. Um, if you go, if you go and have a look at the C11, we see the same kind of thing. Uh, here's showing the different uh, stations for the crew on the on the bridge, and there again, you see something similar. There, it looks like it could be generating power, but not sure. It, it could also be fueling those uh, Gauss cannons. Not sure. Not sure. This is a. If we zoom in on this, I'll open it up. Is this here? Look. You make out this writing here. It says identity card and then data. Data something. So this looks like possibly a data rack or, or server. And uh, I mean, there's a whole career, uh, a whole ship class called data runner. So data is going to be quite important in the game and uh, valuable. So this ship looks like it has a data center on board so it can... Uh, as it's going around in deep space, it can also uh, harvest data. This this is the hangar, but or is it? So th this could actually just be uh, a, a kind of like a, uh, an uh, alleyway leading up to the hangar. We can see a couple of C uh, Pierce X5s in there. Um, now, with hangars, we have to be a little bit careful. There's been a lot of talk about hangars. A lot of talk on um, the Star Atlas forums 
and this is something that is is being uh, looked at over and over again. Um, I've got a little thing here. Um, this, there was a question about how many ships can the C-11 hold in their hangars, in their commander hangars. And what we have here is an answer saying it hasn't been totally specified yet, but we should hopefully fit at least eight F-4s. Remember, this is a C-11, not the C-9 that we're looking at here. Eight F-4s in the C-11. And there it is there, look. So that would be a commander-sized hangar. We also know um, there was something that came up in the economics report, and it was talking about um, the difference in classes between uh, uh, weapon classes. And there was kind of a, a, uh, a factor multiplier. Uh, every time you go up or down a stage, a class in the weapons, there's a multiplication factor of 2.7 approximately uh, in power. And that's how uh, we've, we've come up with a couple of little firepower calculations just for fun. Uh, we've got one on the pit stop. It automatically tells you uh, what your firepower is in the fleet that you have. Uh, it's all just a little bit of fun, but it's based on uh, a piece of information that was released by Star Atlas to say this: there's this 2.7 um, multiplier difference between classes. So... Uh, the difference between a large and a capital weapon is 2.71. If we were to take that and uh, kind of do the same for the hangars, let me just get that up again. Two point seven one going down a class, so we're at commander here. We've got eight. Um, go down to capital uh, 2.71 down from uh, uh, commander size would be approximately 3-ish um, and then go down again uh, so, so 3 F4s in a capital size hangar uh, I'm pure purely speculating here just just blabbing on like none of this is confirmed all right uh, and then you go down again from capital to large another 2.7 and so the large hangar might be able to hold approximately one f4 so if we were to look at uh, let me go uh, back here we'll go back onto the screen now if we were to look back at the slots of the c9 what do we have We've got, let's go back to this one actually. We've got a capital power supply, capital warp drive, capital radar, capital tract beam, capital shield generator, impulse engine, maneuvering thruster, uh, four capital weapons, four large weapons, two commander weapons, a capital missile bay, capital countermeasure bay, capital hull reinforcement, uh, crew, we've got a captain, two pilots, two co-pilots, three scanners, eight turret gunners, one drone operator, two engineers, a repair engineer, hangar foreman, rescue crew, a tractor beam operator, and a cargo foreman. Ooh, cargo foreman's interesting. That means we can we actually can hold cargo on board. And then modules, a large med bay, a capital-sized hangar, and a drone port. Uh, capital size. Uh, so capital size drone port for those hull tanks. So that would suggest in a capital sized hangar we could possibly hold about three F4s in there. Maybe. Now if we were to go, uh, we can test that theory. If we were to go to the Calico Guardian Now, if you remember in the Calico Guardian, it says, um, sorry, let's go to the hero. Hero. The, the Calico hero nestles nicely in the Guardian's hangar. 
So we know that the Calico Hero, Hero which is a medium class ship, nestles nicely in the uh, Guardian's hangar. And the Guardian has a large hangar. So a large hangar can hold one medium ship. A capital hangar could possibly hold about three. And then the uh, uh, commander size can hold approximately eight. That kind of adds up. But again, that's pure speculation, everybody. Pure speculation. All right, let's go back to the C9 again then. Um, or have we closed that out now? Let's take a look. Yeah, okay. So we're basically, that, that's it for the C9. Um, I mean, this is a very powerful ship. The Guardian, for example, was a multi-role. That had five, uh, <laughs> five capital-sized weapons. And the C9, look at that. Four capital, four large, and two commander. So this is a, a real, real powerhouse. And people love it because the, uh, the, the, it's, keep, it's holding its value. And it's got very low supply. <laughs> Legendary rarity. So there you go, that's the C9, and that's uh, basically all the details that we can give you at the moment. Uh, what I can do is now, actually, I'll take, here we go. Now I've got the F4 loaded up, we can go through the F4 next. And I've got it, a little change of scenery, we've got it inside the showroom hangar. Let me go and have a look at it inside. It takes a while to run over here. I should have done the uh, teleportation. And there it is. The Pierce F4. There it is. Now let's load up the Explorer for the F4. Here we have it. So the F4 is a fighter, medium class fighter. It's 30 meters wide, 13 meters high, and 45 meters long. This was uh, supplied initially uh, back in October, so it's over a year old now, at 2,500 USDC. And then we went to 3,250 USDC. Now this is a ship, this is not like the Pierce C9. This ship, if you take a look at the marketplace right now, which we can, we go to F4. This ship is currently on sale at 800 USDC or 210,000 Atlas. So that's a long way off its original uh, origination price. However, we shall review it, and I'm sure we'll find out that this is a very nice ship. So let's just uh, let's go and have a little a little walk around the ship first, shall we? Get that out of the way. I remembered this time. We'll go into camera mode. In fact, uh, let me just park the character here, just so we can get a good idea of the the scale. There we go. See how tiny. Tiny we are compared to this ship, and this is medium class ship. Look at all the guns on it, and it's got the same. You see that same style, uh, kind of cross, uh, cross, sec cross, cross section on the barrel. Interesting. This was the forward end of the ship, and this is the the bridge, the cockpit area, the command deck, whatever you call it. You got these larger weapons here, and then some slightly smaller weapons on this side. Ah, if you remember, if you take a look at the, um, I did the Ogrika Thripid, they look very similar to the Ogrika Thripid weapons. Very, very similar, actually. Maybe just a smaller version. Oh, I mean, obviously they're going to be smaller, but they're very, very similar in style. It's a very sleek looking ship. 
and you wonder where are the thrusters on this thing and we can just take a look there they are hiding behind that cowling those two thrusters on either side um, looks like maybe this little wing here moves up and down rotates on that circle for attack mode maybe up at the aft end uh, we'll look at the the gallery next and you'll see that that op that rear end opens up for cargo and for access it's a very cool style this ship let's take a look underneath I'm not sure what that is can you see that uh, right on the bottom of that uh, I don't know what you call that like a keel fin if it was on a boat um, right behind that you can see a kind of I'm not sure what that is maybe like a little looks like a little towing hitch I'm not sure and then one last thing this here at the, at the forward end here what what does this do it looks like possibly a, a flap that lowers down not sure not sure not sure at all yeah looking forward to finding out what that is um, I mean maybe it's for firing the missiles but I'm not really sure because we'll take a look, look at the gallery next and um, and you'll see where the missiles are well let's do that now shall we alright so the PSF4 let's go through the description this is the standard issue Council of Peace medium-sized patrol vessel made available to the private sector interesting okay let's read that again the standard issue council of peace or cop medium-sized patrol vessel that's now made available to the private sector okay the psf4 has an oversized has oversized weapon hardpoints and missile bay to punch above its weight throw in that extra bit of fuel storage for those deep space patrols the F-4 is a workhorse, a patrol vessel, an escort, and has a nice sized cargo hold to do a little freight on the side. It's a well-rounded ship with all amenities to house a crew of four to five members for most of your difficult missions. Okay, so although it's a fighter, it seems to be quite a multi-role, doesn't it? Uh, but it's a really powerful fighter that can also be used um, for uh, deep space patrol with the extra fuel and also for, for f a little bit of freight as well so yeah really uh, really attractive ship in my opinion hey that's my opinion <laughs> it's not financial advice don't go and buy it on my opinions goodness uh, here's a gallery you can see here so let's uh, swap over to that different view there so there's there's the aft end um, op opened up and if we open that image up again you can see there inside there's some kind of uh, that would I, I guess that would be the cargo this is the cargo hold here next image nice oh yeah can we see that that bit at the front that maybe lowers yeah let's open that up we saw that that piece at the front that maybe lowers down yeah, what is this? I don't know what that is. No idea. But very interested to find out. And uh, you can see, so we've got weapons. We've got weapons here. We've got weapons here. And interesting. There was weapons on the wings, which aren't on this image. Let's just go back there. You see? You see the weapons on the wings here just there not on the images in the Explorer or in, in the Star Atlas NFT very interesting all right let's keep on going keep on moving keep on moving baby nice oh, okay so it looks like there's some uh, kind of uh, thrusters also on the rear end here as well so you've got thrusters here here and here here we can see inside open that up whoa too far 
There you can see the, the bunks. And the uh, the bridge, the command deck. Okay, nice. Ah, oh, this is a good image. Let's, uh, yeah, open this one up. Close that, close that. Yeah, okay, this is a nice one. So we can see, if we zoom right in, we can see, so that's the aft end there. That's the hatch that lowers down. And then um, here you've got some storage, some cargo storage at the lower deck. And then the upper deck is where we were uh, on the last image, where you've got your bunks here and then the, the bridge. Yeah. And on the lower deck, you've got all of this cargo space. And they're the missiles, I think. I assume they're the missiles. So how do they get fired out? Do they drop out the, the bottom of the, of the vessel? Can we see what that flap at the forward end? No, we can't see any more details here. But there we go. So now let's take a look at the... Um, yeah, that's just the blueprints now. So let's take a look at the slots. So this is a medium-class ship. It has a medium... Um, uh, power supply, warp drive, radar, tractor beam, shield generator, a large impulse engine. Very good. Oh, we always like a, uh, a ship that has some components that are above its class. Uh, medium maneuvering thruster, two large weapon hardpoints, two missile bays. Uh, so if we just go back to that image then. So that there may be just one or one and a half uh, because this this ship is is cut in half at the moment, so that that doesn't show all the missiles, does it? I don't think. Uh, you've got a countermeasure bay, medium, and a hull re reinforcement, medium. So interesting because this this came out back in October 2021, and the showroom came out uh, not very long ago at all. Uh, this month, yeah. So. A year ago, the components were two large weapon hardpoints, two missile bays. Now, if we go get that out of the way, and if we go here, so we can see the two large weapons here, can't we? Quite easily. But then we can also see... Oh, interesting. Ah. But we can also see these weapons here which look like possibly medium weapons. Um, and now we can't see any more those other ones. Where were they? Go back to the gallery. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. You can no longer see these ones here. I don't think. It doesn't look like it, does it? So, what does that tell me? Not much. I don't know. Um, because everything is up in the air. For Everything is subject to change. And as um, Star Atlas said previously, there's going to be a schema that's coming out showing you all of the different... Um, uh, components and modules that can be swapped out some of the, like which ones can be swapped out and which ones are hard built into the ships that can't be swapped out so um, I'm sure all of these ships are going to be highly uh, modifiable um, because that's that's a lot of the fun isn't it in in these games is modifying your ship and making it truly unique and we know that Star Atlas want to do that and want to make that available to us so we just kind of have to wait and see really um, what comes out um, it could be that these these modules that are currently highlighted um, are the ones that uh, potentially can be changed out and then there's others that haven't that we can't see in here but the ship still does have but we're just waiting like I said for Star Atlas to release that schema so that's the the PSF4 and the C9 um, I hope it was fairly useful. It's nice just to talk through them. 
Um, and yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see what develops, I guess. So thanks everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, picture taken. Ciao for now. <laughs>